Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of cancer. My, my, my. Three of swords, four of pentacles. Ugh. The devil. Mm. So you have something a beautiful, amazing, either in your life or about to enter your life. All right. Somebody said in my comments earlier and I saw it. It would be nice if we could get um, good readings without the negativity. But the thing about it is that there's always someone obsessed with your life that's lurking in the background, trying very hard to keep you from moving forward. Some of you with this Devil Four of Pentacles, Three of Swords, I'm getting so much energy off of this right now, right away. Literally, we have the Eight of Pentacles. This is you working very hard. This is working overtime. This is a lot of manifestation work at this time. Um, you've been investing everything that you have right now to bring about this, um, like this healing energy. I'm healing vitality. Um, you could be feeling energized. Some of you may actually be feeling very drained right now. It's because you're using so much energy to manifest. Um, don't let that deter you or distract you. We also have this pre-shadow Mercury retrograde energy and Venus is also still in retrograde. So you may feel like you're working over like in overdrive right now trying to manifest something, but it is going to happen for you. Okay. Um, I've been saying a lot. So here we have you know, the sun card, this like Leo season, we're in the eighth month, it's August right now. The Lionsgate portal actually opened up really in July, but it's at its, it was at its peak on 8-8. Eight, eight. Um, but on through, I, I've been saying October is going to be very significant for a lot of you coming in like Libra season. The Ten of Cups is here and then the Four of Cups. So a lot of people right now, you're truly, truly manifesting like a lot of happiness, especially like in your home, in your relationships. When I mention relationships, I'm talking about friendships, your work relationships, partnerships um, in business, as well as romantic, whatever, you know, that you want right now. This is just a good time for you to journal, to script, manifest and really, really um, have a new beginning to come into your life now the three of swords is here with the four of pentacles and the devil this right here is some type of karmic energy that can for sure cause some type of blockage for you it could be a mindset it's an illusion some of you also with this four of pentacles you need to be mindful of how much you are sharing with people around you who are in some ways a little bit obsessed with your life who secretly want to keep you held back the three of swords is here this is speaking of there's some type of interference here the three of swords can be any person in your life friend family member lover whether it's a past lover or someone that's currently in your life but there's some type of interference here that you have to be mindful of at this time um four of pentacles the the devil it's like this narcissist this low vibing energy it wants to keep you stuck i would say for sure like keep your business to your to yourself do not invite this type of energy into all of this happiness that you have because you are moving on to peaceful calmer waters and there are people here who are watching you okay yeah and i just look down at the I have my Kipper deck to the side of me. At the, the top of the deck is a coffin card, the thief, and underneath that is the privileged lady. So unexpected income. You most likely have something very beautiful that's coming in for you. It could be unexpected income. Maybe you're about to get like a new home. You could be relocating. I just heard transferring jobs or departments for some of you like in your workplace. Whatever this is though, you need to be careful of someone trying to come in to steal something that is on its way to you. Expectation here. Yeah, there's a huge change that's about to come. For some of you, I just saw the community card. So who you are, who you're showing up as in your community is about to change. Some of you, is it's literally you're going into a new tax bracket. You Your your social class and status could be changing. So your relationship status could be changing. There's just big changes that are coming that's going to bring about wish fulfillment. And you could have a person around you or in your energy that is really trying to steal something from you somebody wants to steal your energy or some type of blessing or opportunity that is coming in for you one second um so let's see yeah so be careful not to 
um, get into this energy right now of juggling. All right. You need to make sure that you're being very decisive right now um, with the Knight of Swords here and that you are focusing a lot on self-love and healing. Be very careful with distractions. Okay, I've been saying that a lot. With this Eight of Pentacles energy here, be very, very careful with distractions. Will of Fortune. Wow. And here's a Strength card. So, again, we have Eight and Ten. You could be seeing Ten, Ten as well. Something here is a completion. We have two Eights here and two Tens. So, here is the Ten of Cups. And then you have the Will of Fortune here, the number Ten. There's a cycle here that is completely closing out and a new cycle beginning in order for you to truly have wish fulfillment. This does require a lot of strength, though. OK, it requires a great deal of strength and courage. Nine of swords here. You could be, like I said, for sure, stressed, burdened by whatever this is. But you're about to quickly move into your wish fulfillment. So do not be afraid to stand up for yourself, defend and protect yourself and your own honor. The three of cups is here. OK, so for some of you, there's a person in your community, a friend, a family member, um, someone, you know, that you may have wanted to be in a, a relationship or a connection with. There's something here that you need to really keep on the outside. It does not need to enter your energetic field. And I feel like somebody is for sure trying very hard to get into your energetic field right now to to watch to monitor to find out what's coming somebody is already aware that you have a lot of great things coming in but they want to know specifically what's coming in because look the six of pentacles somebody doesn't want you to receive good karma they don't want you to receive more this is someone that is competing with you they don't want you to be on the good side of karma where you're receiving more than what you you have or what you've ever had somebody also does not want you to receive more than what they have okay the queen of wands yeah this is a karmic energy here this person wants to put an end to all of your peace and your harmony and they do not want to see you have some type of spiritual upgrade some of you are spiritually ascending at this time you have a person that they're seeing this transformation happen within you they want to put an end to this a lot of you now it's like you're getting a crown you're getting your wings you're getting new jewels placed on your on your crown as this earth angel this divine feminine masculine and somebody obviously they keep on i'm hearing like they keep taunting you somebody just keeps attacking you because of the way that you're transforming the thing about it is somebody keeps doing this to you and it's only helping you to become better somebody keeps on trying to switch destinies or energy with you the six of pentacles this person they're not getting something that they want out of life and now they're they're coming in because they want to somehow try to steal some type of good opportunity that's coming towards you so for sure just guard and protect yourself here the knight of wands is in the reverse My, these cards really aren't in the reverse so I, this was not in the reverse the knight of wands is here somebody is quickly taking action though to move forward to drop a lot of burdens to have nine of cups here wish fulfillment the fool card it's like you're free you're liberated there's something from your past okay that you freed yourself from and it's leading you now to the ace of wands and i've been saying this it's like you have this midas touch energy okay you're not stuck confused there's no type of illusion or entrapment here that truly exists unless it's only in your mind the hermit card is here it, your your time of going through lessons it has come to an end it's time now for you to actually just apply the wisdom that you've learned from a lot of the lessons that you've gone through but your hardship your, this hard knock life of yours th that should be coming to an end and whoever this person is somebody here is truly just a, a non-factor um whoever this very jealous envious person is this person could be a leo okay leo sees it could be really highlighting this person's behavior all right, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius is out here. Okay, it, it doesn't have to be their sun sign, but this Queen of Wands 
this is some type of karmic jezebel like energy and it is this person that's doing everything to try to hold on to you or to hold you back or they're trying to hold on to or hold back a person that is trying to connect with you whether this person wants to connect with you for business partnership a romantic relationship or whatever there's just this very bitter drama filled jealous hearted envious person that's in the background really trying to cause chaos conflict blockages and delays for either you or someone that you're connected with which which would affect both of you <laughs> two of pentacles yeah somebody is upset somebody feels like they were juggled in a connection all right and therefore i feel like this person has tried to delay you there was no juggling in a connection here somebody has simply chosen you and this person they feel betrayed because someone has wow Somebody has chosen you to be the one that they build their life with. They want a legacy. They want marriage, commitment, and everything with you. And that's the truth. And this truth is hurting someone. It's like destroying a person inside because it's true that you and someone have manifested this life together. You have the type of love that is truly going to go the distance. And all you have now is jealousy, bitterness, deception, and a lot of betrayals happening because you have a masculine for some of you, if you're divine feminine, this person is working nonstop on ensuring that you have the 10 of pentacles. This person loves you. They completely adore you. That's why the lovers is here. And whoever this karmic feminine is, this person is up and down. They're juggling constantly because they cannot understand why this masculine is rushing towards you with some type of offer. This could be someone fairly new in your life or someone from your past. Take it however it resonates. If this is a past lover for a lot of you, this is someone that you... Um, I'm going to say you don't have a lot of history with this person. If you do, it's not bad. There's no bad blood here. I'm trying to move away from reading these more karmic energies. A lot of people, you don't want anything to do with the past, especially if it's a very drama-filled, hurtful past. So we don't even really want to sit here and try to manifest that energy. It's nothing wrong with a person coming towards you that you've crossed paths with from your past. But as far as opening your life and your energy up to someone who has left you devastated time and time again, I don't feel like we really need to dive into that energy. So I'm not going to. You may know this person. This person could be in your life. I don't know what situation they came out of or they're currently in trying to get out of. But somebody here has for sure made up their mind that you're the person that they want to be with. Or you've made up your mind that you want to be with this person. And it is for sure. It's manifesting. You have the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Cups here. This is a clear mind here. Despite the fact that someone has been trying to play a lot of mental mind games with you to hold you back someone could even be going as far as doing some type of control or binding magic here because it's like a person wants to be a permanent interference between you and someone that you could possibly have happiness and joy with somebody just does not want you to have peace you may not even know this person okay this is for sure like a just a hater like somebody just does not want you to have happiness but most likely it is someone that you know that you've walked away from or the person that you're connected with they've walked away from this person yeah and somebody wow the decision has been made you have judgment the higher fan the two of cups <laughs> somebody is like listen i'm marrying divine feminine and that's just final look you have the judgment somebody walked away from someone they made a decision, a final judgment call here with the judgment card that they want to marry. The Hierophant and the Two of Cups is marriage. The Empress. This is a married person. This is a partner. This is a parent usually. Doesn't have to be, but the Empress. The Empress is usually someone who is married. This is Divine Feminine. And the Justice card. Anytime you see the Justice with the Two of Cups and the Hierophant, that is 100% a marriage. I, I, I mean, th this is not just a spiritual marriage. It's, it's this is a, a spiritual connection turning into an actual conventional marriage and it will be very victorious. It's there's nothing wrong about this situation. Look at that. The page of cups, the moon, the emperor. There is an emperor that's in the background. This person is about to let all of their feelings be known and they're going to make it clear that absolutely they want to marry a divine feminine and they don't care who has a problem with it. But this person, they want to be, like I said, a permanent interference between 
a divine feminine and this masculine. This person here has been given the boot. They know that they have to make a decision to move in a different direction. And they are having so much anxiety about it. This person is trying to do anything to get this masculine back. This is a karmic, um, it could be feminine or masculine here. Okay, I'm picking a more of like a karmic woman. It doesn't have to be though. This could be a man or a woman doing this. But somebody is sick. They are totally devastated about the fact that they're not going to get this person back. This energy has been coming up a lot. Um, and it's most likely, of course, due to the retrograde energy. Okay. Somebody, this woman for sure could be a Leo or they have a lot of Leo in their chart. This person has not been able to get over the fact that they are not being chosen by this masculine. This could be someone's ex-wife, actually. I just heard this specifically. This is someone's ex-wife. And these people could have actually been um, divorced for the last four to six years. This person is still hanging in the shadows. Um, whoever this, this feminine is, this person is trying to make advances and apologize to this masculine. They're, they're trying to do something now in hopes that they will have victory and success with this masculine. This masculine has already chosen their counterpart who they want to spend the rest of their life with somebody is really barking up the wrong tree this is like somebody i'm literally seeing a person trying to pop up at someone's house and somebody else is going to answer the door like somebody here is trying to make advances at someone and a person is on their way to being married possibly engaged thinking about moving in with somebody i mean traveling the world with the person somebody is either in a very serious committed relationship that's leading to marriage or they are about to be in a very serious committed relationship that most likely will lead to marriage. And there's a person on the outside from the past that is hell bent on stopping this. This situation has come to a complete end. Somebody here, like either they were never together and this is a relationship that's been over or this is a relationship that, I mean, it's for sure, it's, it, was, it ended in divorce. Yeah, imprisonment and somebody cannot get out of their head about it. Somebody cannot get out of their head the fact that they had great fortune when they were in a relationship. I feel like this masculine is a true divine masculine, um, a person of high honor who was very, very thoughtful and considerate of this karmic feminine. This karmic feminine and this masculine, they didn't work out. Now the, the karmic is thinking to themselves, okay, they want this divine masculine back. This divine masculine is already now in a divine connection with someone else. You can't have them back. False per <laughs> Look, the false person wants to come in now and steal from this divine masculine, the wealthy man. You can't have this person back. This wealthy man, look, is working on a new divine contract. This wealthy man is already putting work into a connection with someone else and they this person that this divine masculine is choosing together they will have sudden wealth this is what they're working on wow i mean this is so straightforward somebody here just that like they completely lost and and there's no it was it wasn't a game or a competition but somebody is truly barking up the wrong tree like there is nothing they can do this part, this is a part of someone's ex that doesn't understand. They will never, ever get this person back. And I keep saying that, like somebody here is like done. Stick a, stick a needle, uh, stick a fork in it. Done. Like nail in the coffin. Just done. I feel somebody here is divorced. And this part, somebody is about to propose to someone, or try to marry a person. They want nothing to do with their past. Or, I mean, somebody could be dealing with someone in their life right now and they're going back to their past. However it resonates, somebody has chosen the person that they will 100% be spending their life with. And whoever is not being pursued by this feminine or this masculine, they need to give it up. Page of Cups here. Somebody could have children. The Chariot, Five of Wands. Yeah, it's like, get over it. Move, move away from this situation. There's nothing here but conflict, tension, drama obstacles this nine of pentacles is a divine feminine who's receiving an offer somebody here could be a cancer cancer somebody has cancer and leo in their chart could be a cancer leo cusper i'm telling you somebody is for sure um trying to 
make some type of advances towards somebody, that's the truth. In hopes that it's going to win a person back. This this is giving me the energy of like this the um karmic feminine that I picked up on a few months ago. This person is literally willing to propose to this this man if if they ever get them back because somebody here has put an end to a situation. There is no passion beginning. This person has no choice but to move away and leave a situation alone. That, that's that's the only thing they can do. There could even be distance between these people. So if you guys, for some of you, if you're worried about whether or not someone is dealing with someone from their past, they're not. And it's this masculine. They're not. This masculine wants nothing to do with this person. This masculine is moving on a peaceful, calm waters with whoever you are. Or this is what's coming in for you. Yeah, six of pentacles. They want equal give and take. Ten of pentacles. They don't care where this karma goes. They're hoping that this person will pack up their stuff, leave, and never come back. Yeah, the wheel of fortune is here. <laughs> King of Cups. This somebody here, this masculine, they don't want any other options. They don't want their past person, the karmic. Like they don't want anything but this divine feminine. That's it. I'm not gonna drag this out because it's very clear here. Somebody has a keeper for sure. Awakening. Yeah. Somebody's going through a spiritual awakening. They, they're understanding their purpose and they see now that on their path, this divine masculine, this car fell right on top of the emperor. This divine masculine is realizing that there is a karmic feminine that either left them or that they walked away from. They know for a sure fact that this person is forbidden. This person is not meant to be on their path at all. They know that. They know this person is karmic and they will never go back towards this person. This person has had an awakening now. Yeah. Water. Someone here could be a water sign. I said that. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Somebody here definitely has cancer in their chart. Okay. This person is hoping that this masculine will compromise with them so that they can come back together and make something work. It's, there, it's not. This masculine is not doing anything with it. Yeah, this clingy person, I'm telling you. This clingy person who knows like this connection is forbidden. But they are very determined. This person is, is extremely confused on how to move forward. They just don't know what to do now. I feel like this, um, whoever this karmic person is, for sure it could be a karmic feminine. This person could have walked away from this masculine. It doesn't matter how the breakup happened. Whoever this person is now, they're seeing the truth about this situation. And they're realizing that like they have to take some type of accountability for the role that they played in this situation. They're also seeing how this masculine is going through this awakening and getting aligned. This person doesn't want to miss out on whatever blessings are attached to this masculine so now they want to come back and this person is extremely clingy and they won't let go and this person refuses to let go but again this is something that is forbidden <sighs> look this person has a problem with rejection this person cannot accept being rejected and they could have very bad habits maybe they don't have the most supportive friends or family um just a lot of codependency and now to see this masculine be loyal and committed to someone new and holding back from them this person is literally they're spiraling out of control they're losing their mind completely because this masculine is not saying anything to this this karmic person this masculine is finding wish fulfillment with someone that they are starting in a friendship with that's going it's a a, a past life connection with someone that they're friends with that they see as wish fulfillment. This man is not saying much. He's very closed off. Wow. Why? Because he's a divine masculine. 
This person, is, they know better than to go towards a connection that is forbidden. This is someone who could be a fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. This person is quiet. They're making plans. Okay, yeah. They've gone through a breakup. Some of you could be dealing with the Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. This person has gone through a breakup with a very toxic, karmic person. They're going through a spiritual awakening and they know that they could never be with that person. So they've put up a lot of boundaries with whoever this is. I just looked at the TV and I see fatal seduction. This person has someone that does not want to let them go. Spirit is saying, look at that person as if they are you. They are releasing a situation or they've already released it. But it doesn't change the fact that this person that they walked away from is still obsessed with them. Telepathy is here. Wow. Competition. Yeah, somebody is trying to compete with you. But you're manifesting and you should continue manifesting okay you've grown okay you're manifesting keep your eyes on the prize this is just this like i said mercury retrograde venus retrograde past situation like past energy that's coming up i don't feel like it's something that you really have to worry about though because in the reading that i i did before this one i was saying like someone has found the one all you need to do right now is stay focused on just releasing the past that's it because there's a there's a connection here that it's faded. It's just faded to be. This is 100% faded. So whoever is trying to get into your energetic field right now to sabotage your connection with this person, they're doing you a favor because all they're doing is pushing this person closer to you. <laughs> because their clinginess and their fears around rejection is really showing their their ugly truth. Which is that they're not a, a divine feminine or masculine at all. Freedom. Yeah. Whoever this person is, they know they love their freedom with you. It says freedom and sweet song. This person could be sending you telepathic um, communication by sending you songs. They could be playing certain songs for you, hoping that you kind of get the message. <laughs> This person is going to be communicating their truth with you very soon. But what you can expect is this person to communicate with you from their higher self. It may seem like things are a little weird and confusing right now. But this person, they know exactly who you are to them. And they know that they can be their truest self with you. This person may have had some inner fears because of this tough breakup that they went through. Or this could be you. Take it however it resonates. But they are clear now that um, you're the person that they want to be with. And this connection is faded. They want to make sure that this is a reciprocal relationship that is very balanced. This is really, really good. It's good energy. I'm, I'm happy to see that everyone in the collective right now is manifesting, you know, connections that are going to really um, be beneficial to you having that personal freedom because you're going into connections where you can actually get clarity. You know, there's no confusion, toxicity here. Wow. Mirrored souls. Oh, my gosh. That's so, so amazing. This is your spiritual other half. Yeah. Vacation and travel. This is going to be such a nice connection. You have acts of service, vacation and travel. This is someone that wants to do things for you. When, you, when you're overwhelmed, they want to make sure that they can make life easier for you. That could be your pri one of your primary love languages. This person, they want to travel the world with you, okay? This person will go wherever you go. They, they will relocate with you. It doesn't matter. Like this person has, they they see you as the one, just period. Reciprocity. And then look at this, wedding. Fire and desire. And underneath that is happily ever after. So here in this Lionsgate portal, somebody is manifesting a happily ever after. And it looks like you're getting it. <laughs> You guys, you and this person could travel to someone's wedding as well. Somebody may, you know, catch the bouquet or 
or I just feel like somebody is starting to think about marriage. When somebody sees you or they spend time with you, their mind is switching to marriage or this is you. This isn't just something casual. Somebody is looking at you as the one, you know. Fire and desire. It's like there is this chemistry and passion that you and this person have. You can't fight it even if you wanted to. And you're going to start to see how this person is going to act. They're going to start doing more for you. And it's going to help you to have more clarity because you're going to see the peace and the freedom that you have with this particular person. Look at that. <laughs> this could be the one very soon. Getting to know each other and release your ex. Somebody has released their ex. Someone has released an ex that's very childish that wants to reconcile with them, reconcile with them, or this could be you, but it doesn't matter because someone has already paid attention to the red flags and they know now that they want their love life to ascend to a higher level of commitment. And therefore they're moving on to someone new. They can offer them what they're looking for spiritually, mentally, physically, emotionally, socially, culturally, like somebody does not trust the situation that they've been in or that they're currently in. They want more. So this could be you and someone both are in this energy and you're going to find each other. But it just seems for a lot of people, for sure, like these past life karmic soulmates, that's just not the way to go. Somebody want, somebody is very childish. They want to reconcile with a, a person and it doesn't matter. They've already been released. Somebody has just been, been released because either you or whoever you're connected to or about to connect with, that's, they're the one. And that's just what it is. So I'm going to leave it here, you guys. Um, this is amazing. Congratulations to those of you who have done all of the hard work. And you are manifesting these connections where you're going to be able to actually express your love and trust yourself. And trust the person that you're choosing to love now. The attraction, it's mutual. Okay. Um, keep an open mind. This person may not be your usual type. Um, but I do feel that... Um, they're going to be exactly what you need. This could truly be the one for you. Um, it says you've already met your, the romantic partner that you seek. You know, this could be someone that's about to come into your life or they could be in your life right now, but maybe not um, a romantic partner. They could be from your past, but maybe you've never been in a relationship with them. If it's someone from your past, they're presenting themselves as a um, romantic love interest. Okay. Maybe before they presented themselves as someone who was very casual or as a friend, um, somebody is coming in. But whoever this is, because of the type of strong energy, this person has to know you. They know they know you on a spiritual level. OK, with clarity and higher self, they understand you spiritually. It's a very deep, intimate connection. Yeah. Somebody does not want to miss this opportunity. This is beautiful. Happily ever after and wedding are out here and reciprocity. Acts of service. This is a life partner. They do not want to add any type of burdens or drama to your life at all. They have been through things. They know that you've been through things. This person is, is looking to just finally get it right with someone wow this is amazing you guys please say in the like type in the comments that you claim this energy <laughs> seriously like snatch this energy okay bottle it up if you can because <laughs> it's good this is the second reading today um where i've been picking up on these very beautiful like divine couples who are manifesting their happily ever after and it's healthy reciprocal harmonious relationships so this is amazing you know yeah there is someone in the background that is very upset because they're being rejected but that's what has to happen you guys are cleansing and clearing people and situations out of your life that are prohibiting you from moving into you know the the, the best season of your life so don't feel bad about doing that. It doesn't matter if it's a friend, family member, an ex-lover. These are just people who, you know, a lot of them, they're scorned. They don't know. 
they don't know love the way that you know love. 